Today I want to talk about a question that thousands of people around the world keep sending in to us. Dark circles under my eyes. Why do I have dark circles under my eyes and what do we do? So you can spend your money on a lot of creams and a lot of all these external applications which promise that it's going to lighten up the skin beneath your eyes, it's going to take the dark circles away and all of that stuff. But what we need to understand about dark circles under the eyes is if you're constantly covering it up with makeup or whatever they call eye concealers and all of that stuff, you could be masking a bigger problem. So you see, when we keep masking all of these problems, I mean, all of these issues and, you know, we take away problems at a symptomatic level, we miss out on what the root cause could be. And sometimes that root cause could be something serious. Now, it doesn't mean you have a serious problem if you have dark circles. It's for you to think, introspect in your life and make a connection between the dark circles under your eyes and what may be happening in your life. So very few people have it as a hereditary issue. You know, some people, yes, it is hereditary, you may have dark circles, but today that word hereditary, it's easy to blame on a problem. So some people say, oh, my mom and dad have diabetes, so I'm gonna have diabetes too, and they don't do anything about it. Not understanding that it may be hereditary to some extent, but if you put in some amount of effort, you can possibly, possibly make the situation better or prevent it from happening. So we shouldn't just blame things on something being hereditary. Whenever we, when we've done everything, explored everything from lifestyle to your nutrition, to your sleep, exercise and stress, and still nothing's working, Working, then we can possibly say it is hereditary. So basically what are these dark circles and how does how does the skin beneath your eyes become dark? So this is the, the it is the thinnest skin in the human body. Okay and below this are a fine networks of a fine network of capillaries. Over these capillaries pass your red blood cells. So sometimes these red blood cells queue up over these capillaries and there's a little bit of leakage. There's an enzyme that cleans this out, leaving it slightly black, darkish gray, or sometimes even a darkish blue, the same way a wound heals when there's leakage. So what happens is these dark circles are caused mainly due to several reasons that we're gonna to discuss today. So then you introspect in your lifestyle and you try to make the connection. Number one, sleep and stress. The less sleep you have, okay, everything rests when you sleep, including your eyes. So sometimes when you've had a disturbed night, you wake up with puffy eyes, okay? So what happens is there's a lot of healing and detoxification that happens while you sleep. Another buildup of dark circles is toxic accumulation. We've seen cases where people just detoxify completely Completely, when the toxin overload in the body reduces, your kidney works better, your liver works better, everything in the human body works better. And you're able to flush out toxins from all of these capillaries, your arteries, everything. Your body gets cleaner and the dark circles can become lighter. Okay, so there's a toxic buildup, stress again, because when we're stressed, we can't sleep. You see, it's a vicious cycle. So if I'm saying that stress causes the dark circles, no, it's a contributing fact. Because you're stressed, you can't sleep. Because you, you can't sleep, you have dark circles under your eyes. For people who have sinusitis, for people who have sinus, there is a possibility we're seeing a connection between sinusitis and again, because there's a lot of blockage that happens in this entire region. So when there's blockage and there's no proper blood flow, you see that sometimes when you knock yourself or you get cut and the blood flow kind of stops, it turns black and blue. It's as simple as that. Computer screens, when, you, when you're when you constantly staring at your computer screen, your phone screen, your iPad screen, there's too much of strain on your eyes. Everything around your eyes, okay, is controlled by your capillaries, your veins, your arteries, your nerves, and everything gets affected. So if you have a job that requires you to look at the computer screen for a long time, every one hour, it makes sense for you to massage your eyes, blink your eyes shut, open them up again, look away from your screen for some time. So these are little lifestyle changes that you can make to make it better. A huge contributing fact, and this is what I mean, you can use all the possible creams in the world if you have dark circles, but then you mask the fact that you may be having extremely low hemoglobin levels. Because when your iron and hemoglobin levels drop in the human body, okay, or you have anemia, there's a possibility of dark circles under your eyes. So you wanna fix that at a root cause because if you have constantly have low hemoglobin or anemia, low iron levels, it's causing numerous other problems in your body. So you may, be, you may look good at the parties that you go for because you're putting concealer and all of that makeup and whatever it is that's put to hide the dark circles, but you're also masking a deeper problem that, call, that can cause other issues as well. Liver issues. You know, people who have fatty livers, people who have hepatitis, people who have sluggish livers, people who have cirrhotic livers. Okay, your liver is one of the most important organs in the body and it always gives you clues if it's not functioning the right way. So again, you want to look at your liver health. Do you have the right kind of liver enzymes? Are your SGOT and your SGPT levels fine? Do you have a fatty liver? Because the liver's job is to keep toxins out of your body as well. So when that slows down or that gets sluggish, we have all problems from weight gain, inability to lose weight, 
toxic accumulation in the body, you know, fatigue, tiredness, all of these issues affected by one organ that doesn't work the right way. Dehydration, huge, huge issue. When your water level is below what your body requires, even a 1% drop of water in your body will cause innumerable problems, including dark circles. So it's important to make sure that you are hydrated completely. There's internal hydration from the water that you drink and there's external hydration. So a lot of people take tea bags, they cool them and put it on their eyes or cucumber slices and all of those treatments that you have in spas. It works temporarily, why? Because it's providing hydration to this area where you have the dark circles as well. Okay, it's also a lack of vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin C, and vitamin K. Like I always say, even a deficiency of one vitamin or many vitamins or minerals in the body can lead to innumerable problems. For some people, it's skin. For some people, it's hair. For some people, it's energy levels. For some people, it's immunity. For some people, it's all of it together, which is why we need balanced nutrition. Balanced nutrition, because that's where you get a mix of all the vitamins and minerals that the body requires for its functioning. Okay, and the main thing is kidney. We see this huge connection between kidney problems and dark circles. So it is so important not to ignore the fact that you suddenly develop dark circles or it's not getting better or it's getting darker and darker. darker. Look at the health of your kidneys. Again, it relates to your hydration levels because when your kidneys don't get the amount of water, it cannot flush out the amount of toxins that you accumulate in the body. And if it can't flush out the toxins, the toxins stay in your body. We know to have a healthy body, you cannot have toxic accumulation. So that's why hydration is so important. And as we see chronic kidney disease, CKD, and you know renal function disorders and stuff like that, we see the eyes getting blacker and blacker. So that it's a very important uh, symptom for you to address. Look at the health of your kidneys. Sometimes all you need to do is clean your kidneys detoxify your kidneys because our kidneys are constantly working to flush out toxins from the air that we breathe, the contaminated food that we eat, the polluted water that we drink and all of those issues as well. And then lifestyle junk and excess salt and alcohol and smoking and all of those things. So we should help our bodies stay clean. So some of the best ways to reduce dark circles are of course tea bags. So you take a chamomile tea bag, Okay, you soak it in hot water and then you let it cool. You can even put it in the fridge or you can even do it with a black tea bag. Okay, you heat it, you make a cup of tea, you can drink that cup of tea, take the bag out, cool it, or put it in the fridge for a while, and then you put it on your eyes where the dark circles are and leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes. You do this constantly for about 12 to 15 days. Anything that's natural takes time to work. So you need vitamin P, which is patience, for it to work. Anything natural needs patience. Okay, the chemicals, the strong chemical drugs, you don't need patience because it's designed to make it work quickly so you get addicted to it because all human beings today need instant gratification. We're used to getting, you know, we want results quickly. We want results quickly and that's why powerful chemicals can only do that and not nature. Then you have watermelon seeds. You can buy watermelon seeds from your local grocer. They're whitish in color and light brown. And you take about 250 grams of that and you boil it. You keep boiling it until the color of the water becomes dark brown. And then what you do is you cool that and you have about 200 to 250 ml twice a day. And you do this for about three to four days. Of course, speak to your doctor before you do anything. Okay, watermelon seeds is fantastic for detoxifying the kidney. And then my favorite combination is parsley and coriander the cilantro family. You take about two equal portions of parsley, coriander, add a little bit of lemon, and you have about two or three of these shots, 200 ml shots throughout the day for a couple of days. Again, if you have kidney problems, potassium level issues, sodium level issues, you wanna speak to your doctor or your nutritionist or your professional expert before you do this, okay? The fourth thing is turmeric. That's why we call it yellow gold because it's great for almost everything when it's used the right way. Turmeric is fantastic for your kidney and your liver again. Apple cider vinegar with the mother culture is excellent for detoxification of the liver and the kidney. Beetroots, fantastic for your kidneys and that's why it plays a huge role in managing high blood pressure and hypertension as well. Garlic, carrots, and then of course your fruits and vegetables. Anything that's raw and of good quality has natural enzymes to detoxify you. My favorite juice to basically detoxify the kidney consists of carrots, beetroots, a little bit of garlic, and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This should be about 350 ml. So you take carrots, you take beetroots, you put a little bit of garlic, you can go up to two to three cloves of garlic and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You blend this together and you have it with the fiber. You do this constantly for about seven to eight days and your kidney will feel cleaner. So it's multifactorial. There's no magic cream that's gonna take away your black eye, you know, the black circles beneath your eyes. 
So it all revolves about what you put. If you want your expression, expression of health on the outside, which is the quality of your hair, your skin, everything to change, it's always an inside out approach. It's what you put inside your body that will change the outside. It's like a plant, it's like a flower. You can keep spraying the leaves and make it look more beautiful. But if you feed the roots, which means you feed the soil with the right food, the plant automatically grows stronger and more beautiful. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.